Prince Charles reveals what he really thought of the Spice Girls breaking royal protocol in an explosive letter. There's a significant history between the Spice Girls and the British royal family, going all the way back to their first meeting with Prince Charles more than 20 years ago, and continuing at least through to the royal wedding of Prince William to Kate Middleton in 2011. Only three of five members of the iconic girl band were invited to wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry this year. The connection between the UK's beloved girl group and the royal family seems to have begun way back in the 1990s, at the peak of their popularity. At a royal gala performance celebrating the Prince's Trust charity in May of 1997, just months before Princess Diana's death, Prince Charles was snapped enjoying their spirited company at the event. There was even a bit of scandal about their meeting with the prince, too, as both Mel B and Gary Halliwell breached royal protocol by giving Prince Charles big kisses on his cheeks. Ginger Spice, of Spice Girls fame, was famously pictured in what appeared to be a very naughty scene with the future king during a royal variety performance back in 1997. In the book The Prince Charles Letters, compiled by David Stubbs, it is revealed in a letter addressed to the Spice Girls what Charles really thought of that shocking incident at the gala. The letter reads, I was all too keenly aware of kisses being planted on my cheeks and even of my hindquarters being pinched. All of this was of course most improper, if somewhat flattering. Charles' letter describes how, if he had been younger, his late uncle Dickie may have encouraged Charles to horse around with the Spice Girls. However, the Prince of Wales wrote, I am an older man, with a serious role to play in the administration of our United Kingdom. And, I, cannot afford to have that undermined by an ill-judged choice of bride. Spirituality and gravitas, not sporty, not baby, must be my watchwords, 